shop update. Yes, Darwin, it's a shop update. So I planted this grape plant like three years ago, but this year is the first time where I actually have some grapes. It's Oregon for you, growing grapes. Okay, let's go. Heal. So I've been walking around town lately, coming across pianos in unexpected places, like this grand piano. And I can never resist sitting down and clinking a little and trying to remember pieces I once knew. I love seeing them around, but I think they'll pack them up soon before fall. I kind of wish all towns would have pianos all over the place all year round, however impractical. That would be nice. Don't do everything overnight. You mean if you won the lottery and you were going to yeah, build yeah, the biggest okay, shop okay. you could do? Exactly. Okay, okay. listen, you just got tons of money and you're like, I'm going to build the biggest, best shop ever. Yeah. Don't. So don't do, <laughs> don't, that. Do, don't that. do that in the weekend. Don't do that in the weekend. So that was from my brand new Darwin Orver podcast, which I started with my husband because it is a lot more fun to uh, talk with someone and have, and have a conversation as opposed to talking to yourself on a podcast. So uh, yeah, we have recorded two episodes so far. The first one is about organization and mostly shop organization. And the second one is about the maker movement, kind of where it began and where it's going and how it is affecting things. And it's been a lot of fun to do so far. Uh, we would love some feedback. Um, of course, we would appreciate positive feedback. But beggars can't be choosers, so any kind of feedback would be great. Also, I'm going to put a link in the description uh, to iTunes where you can find uh, the podcast. And it'd be really awesome if you listen to it, if you could take the time to rate and leave a comment on iTunes. Because apparently that does a lot in terms of uh, publicizing the pop podcast and getting it out there so more people can find it. So anyway, go and check that out and listen to it when you work in the shop or drive or walk your dog or whatever. August has been really nice so far, and I've been going to the farmer's market, which is always fun. So many things to look at, so much nice produce, and of course, I like to check out the wax, which my local apiary sells. If you're looking to buy beeswax, it's often a good idea to check out your local farmer's market. As many of you know, I make wax polish, which I sell in my shop. This is what it looks like when it's melting along with oil. This is raw linseed oil, and then I pour the wax mix in tins. Let them cool, put on my labels, and package them and send them all over the world. And I just love to think about where they might end up. That is really cool. So let's see what we got in the mail this time. Tab left workshop. Tab left workshop, but it's got no name. Thank you very much. Ooh, Dominic. He sends his regards to Darwin. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dominic. Dominic's Woodworks.com. Cool. Richard McIntosh, Sawdust Maker. Thank you very much. Very nice. So we got self-adjusting locking pliers from Auto Grip. And don't forget the media kit. It is very big, so it must be important. Thank you very much. Oh, I love this. Women love it too. And she's wearing pearls too, just so we know that she's a woman. <laughs> Thank you very much. That was very cool. So this is from Garrett Bryant. Uh, he is uh, stationed in the Middle East and he asked me for some advice on how to build a flag case. Uh, so he sent me a flag and I will, I'm going to build a flag case for an upcoming project. I think that would be pretty cool. So thank you very much. This is from Douglas. Okay. So we got retro weld stickers and we got a t-shirt. Thank you very much, Douglas. I really like it. Uh, Douglas got a really cool channel called Retro Weld. There will be a link in the description. Go and check it out. So mail time is over. Links to everyone in the description. Thank you so much. Mail time over. Also, in between all these other projects, I've been playing with a couple of things which probably won't get a dedicated video, but it's so much fun. So I had this piece of walnut and I was curious how many spoons and butter knives could I get out of that one piece. So I've just been having a good time cutting and shaping and this is one of those things I just like to pick up every once in a while to relax. Plus, I could use some more butter knives. 
I'll show them on Instagram once they're done. Q&A. So someone asked me why uh, have I painted my tools and a couple of people might have noticed that. And uh, actually I've been attempting to kind of not showcase, you know, brands in general. Uh, but this was actually in response to a company that I worked with uh, that asked that uh, I do not like highlight and show other brands uh, in the videos. So it was actually just to honor our deal uh, with them. Um, so which is why I painted the tools, but I kind of like that anyway. And since color is so much of association uh, with brands these days, it's not just a brand like a logo. Uh, it really does make sense to cover up that as well as just the logo. Another person asked, do I ever use plants? And the answer to that is no. <laughs> I'm not really a big fan of plants. I never have been. I never really like to follow them. I mean, it's kind of like when you get a piece of IKEA furniture or something and it comes with a plant. Like I never look at the plants and just kind of, you know, start building it. Uh, so yeah, no, I, I don't ever personally follow plants. However, I've been making a lot of plants lately in a sense. Like lately I've been really trying to make uh, the instructional videos uh, kind of like a plan where everything you need to build that project is included in the video. Uh, um, but yeah, otherwise, no, I don't really follow other, other people's plans. Another question that kind of goes along with the previous question uh, is if I could recommend any online resources if you're just starting out woodworking or making. Uh, and sure, um, first of all, I really enjoy just getting inspired. So I really uh, like to go to Pinterest for that or even Instagram. You know, you follow a, you know, a couple of people that you really enjoy and then you receive, uh, you know, it comes into your feed. Uh, and I personally really like Instagram too. I use it a lot uh, to kind of give little updates here and there. So yeah, I like Pinterest and Instagram. Um, and then and also Instructables, the website is a great, uh, you know, resource. There's so much stuff there. Uh, you know, all kinds of uh, projects and types of materials. So Instructables is a great one. Uh, Lumberjocks is great too for browsing, especially, you know, just woodworking related. Uh, and other than that, I guess it's YouTube. You know, my channel and other people's channels, there are so, there's so much good stuff on YouTube with uh, different projects and inspirational videos and things like that. So that's what I prefer to look at. This video was brought to you by Homewright, makers of the FinishMax Pro HVLP sprayer. The perfect sprayer for providing a fine finish on your woodworking projects.